Hi everyone, in today's video I am going to be doing a full face of the Paracone MD No Makeup Makeup line. I've had my eyes on this line for quite some time and I recently got a suggestion to try this line out in a video and must be fate because this whole line is currently on sale for 30% off at Ulta for the 21 Days of Beauty event. It's a hot buy, so it is going to be on sale for the entire event. Today is September 1st when the event starts, and then the event ends on the 21st. I do plan to have this video up very soon, so if you see anything in this video that you like, you'll have more than enough time to take advantage of the 30% off sale. These are the only products that Ulta carries in stores online they have a concealer and they have a bronzer and then i also know that they have a highlighter but it's not on ulta's website and it's not in ulta stores so i'm going to start out with the no makeup instant blur the directions for this says to pat the makeup applicator onto the bomb and smooth over face focusing on areas with oiliness visible pores discoloration wrinkles and lines and then it can be used under makeup or alone and then the description of this says it's a multitasking invisible primer and complexion perfecter that creates a soft focus effect and satin finish blurring imperfections and uneven skin tone as it reduces the appearance of pores wrinkles redness and uneven texture so this kind of sounds like it is a makeup primer and skincare product like this sounds kind of amazing so it's telling me i need to use this guy right here i'm going to use it today but i really don't like using like makeup applicator things if you are curious about what moisturizer i'm wearing right now i am just using the moisturizer from the ordinary it's just a nice basic moisturizer this smells kind of like crayons i do feel like it took down a lot of my oiliness but i don't feel like it's like filled in my pores so next up is the foundation i have the foundation serum and the foundation both in the shade golden which is a medium warm shade that's what they use to describe it the foundation serum is a buildable semi-matte coverage that visibly reduces dark spots and uneven skin tone over time. So again, this is like another skincare makeup product and then the actual foundation, not the foundation serum, has a sheer luminous coverage that also reduces dark spots and uneven skin tone over time. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to do one side with the foundation and one side with the foundation serum. I love the packaging of this. This just looks so beautiful. So this is the foundation. I'm also going to compare like texture and stuff, like the feel of it. This seems kind of thick, like a lot thicker than I thought it would be considering this is supposed to be like a no makeup makeup kind of look. So the foundation has a pump, so that was a pump, and then the serum has a dropper. The serum is definitely way more runny. As far as the shades, the serum looks to be a little bit lighter and maybe warmer than the foundation. I'm sure that on the skin it's going to be so sheer that it probably won't even matter. I'm going to start out with the foundation on this side, and this one, again, if you remember, is the luminous one. I'm going to use a brush to blend this out. Oh, I quite like this. It does smell like sunscreen. I believe both of these products have, yep, SPF 20. And then here is the serum. This looks like really orange, but I bet it blends out to be just fine. It looked fine in the store, but you know how that Ulta lighting is. Sometimes it's a little, a little crazy. If I end up liking this, I'm going to go back and get a lighter shade of this probably because I like to have options for all year. The serum is a little bit more streaky than the foundation. Like I'm having a harder time getting an even coating of the serum. Oh my gosh, this is so, so streaky. I'm going to go over it with a beauty blender to get rid of any of the brush streakiness. I like the actual foundation better than the serum. I feel like I just love the glow from the foundation. I feel like the serum isn't giving me that glow. But I did remember, just remembered, that the serum is supposed to be buildable. So let's see if we can layer this guy up. 
I'm going to apply it like directly with my beauty blender. I don't want my brush anywhere near this side. But the brush blended out like this side really nicely. It must just be like an ingredient thing or something. I do like it like right now like with the beauty blender but I feel like it's gonna dry down and then I'm not gonna like it as much. That did build up very very nicely. Now I feel like I like this side a little bit better. Since I don't have the no makeup bronzer I'm just going to be using my elf cosmetics cream bronzer. I also brought my Becca liquid highlighter in opal. When I was watching a video on the Paracone makeup, the no highlight highlighter looked very similar to this, so I just figured I would do this instead. And then I have the Paracone no makeup blush. The blush only comes in one shade. I don't usually like putting cheek products directly on my skin, but it has like a little applicator, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking my Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush to blend out my blush. Oh, that's pretty. Oh no. I kind of love it. Maybe they don't need any other color. Oh my goodness, this blush is beautiful. And it blends out so nicely. Ooh. And I like the packaging of it. So hopefully you can also see the skin a little bit better now. I, I'm i not sure. I feel like I kind of like the foundation serum just a little bit more. I feel like my skin looks just a little bit more smooth. But it could literally just be because the skin on this side of my face is nicer right now. Like, I don't... I don't know. To me, they kind of look very, very similar. Where, like, I'm not seeing a ton of difference. Um, and then, like, the feeling of it on the skin, I don't feel either of these products. So they also only had one shade of the No Makeup Eyeshadow. I have no idea what it looks like because we did not have a tester out of it. There is the tiniest bit of, like, sheen to it. I think it's going to look really natural on the eye. Okay, hopefully that's not too much. I'm using my ColourPop brush because I love it for cream eyeshadow or like liquid eyeshadow. This is like the only color that they had though. I guess I like it okay. I probably could have lived without it though. I feel like it's drying down darker though which I quite like. I was a little bit afraid of it being too light. I can see the vision though. I can see it. Cause this kind of does look like, like I'm wearing eyeshadow, but like at the same time, I might not be. I am creasing pretty heavily on both sides underneath my eyes though. Oh, I kind of like this eyeshadow. It's creasing already though. It is creasing already. Now I do have the Paracone Mascara to try, and I have heard good things about this product. Jeez, that wand is terrifying. Does that wand not look so scary? Oh my god. I kind of love it. It's so black too. Oh god, I like this way, way better than the RMS mascara. That mascara sucked. Like really was so bad. This brand is like just as expensive as the RMS brand, but I like it better. I cannot... I cannot believe how long this is making my eyelashes. This is going to be my go-to mascara. The wand is also very comfortable. I was afraid of this being very like painful for some reason, like the spikes on it were just a little extreme, but the wand is very comfortable, which is good. 
I'm going to just take my Glossier Lash Slick and separate this. I wish I had an actual lash separator, but I don't. And this is the next best thing. This mascara is unfreaking real. Like, this is not a no makeup mascara. This is a mascara. I like this mascara so much, I might buy another one while it's on sale. My camera died, so I took the opportunity to put my brows on. I just used the Glossier Brow Flick in brown and the Boy Brow in black to do my brows. So that's that. This mascara is unreal. It's going to become my everyday mascara, and I would like to purchase a backup of it, maybe even two. The under eyes are creasing, like, very, very quickly. I do like the skin though overall and honestly like creasing and oiliness does not really bother me too much. I care about like the overall look and texture and feel of it. This is hard to tell because I feel like my texture is showing a little bit more on the foundation side, but I love the glow from it. Like I adore the glow from it. And I am getting glow from the foundation serum side. But, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask you guys what you think. I picked up all three of the shades that they have. They have Berry, Original Pink, and Red. This one right here is Berry, and it looks like this. That's Berry. Next shade right here, this is Original Pink. These smell lovely, by the way. They smell like vanilla. And then this one is red. This is what they look like side by side. So again, berry, original pink, and red. Here are the three shades swatched out. So that's berry, that is original pink, and that is red. And I feel like all three of these shades would flatter my skin tone. Whenever I'm at Ulta and I need like a little balm, I will use this one. I'll use their tester of it after I've sanitized it, of course, but it always looks very, very beautiful, and I like that one a lot. For the sake of justifying me buying all three of these $30 lipsticks, I am going to try them all on my lips so that you guys can see what they look like with my complexion. I'm going to take Original Pink first so that any sort of staining from the next two shades doesn't affect the color of it. Mmm. That's beautiful. What a pretty, pretty little tinted lip balm. I actually didn't think that I was going to like this shade of it. I don't like pinks on me, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It almost blurs my lip imperfections as well, and it is so comfortable and hydrating. It smells delicious. I believe these also have SPF in it. SPF 15. Wow. Next, I'll try Berry. This is what Berry looks like. It's very cute. I feel like the shade name isn't very fitting. I think that Paracone could have made Berry be a little bit more purpley. Like the new Glossier Berry Balm.com. Like that one is a very nice actual berry shade. It has like purple in it. This one I feel like doesn't have actual like purple in it, but it's still pretty. It's more like a muted red. And then last is going to be red. I don't think I've tried red on before. Ooh, I think those of you who like a blue-based red lip tint, I think that you guys are going to love this. This is really, really pretty. I'm really happy I got all of these. Money well spent. I'm not going to return a single one. I think I just loved the pink one so much that I am going to take that off and put it back on for the remainder of the video. So here's the completed look for a full face of Paracone. What do you guys think? I feel pretty good about myself. I absolutely love the blush. I think the blush is insanely beautiful. I'm also surprised about how much I like the eyeshadow on me. After that initial like quick creasing that happened. I blended it out and now it's not creasing at all. It might have just like needed that set time and then good to go. I love 
the mascara like this is absolutely unreal and it's very comfortable I feel like I can tell pretty quickly if a mascara is going to be uncomfortable on me it almost reminds me of like the Glossier Lash Slicks Big Sister like this is insane all of the lip balms I absolutely adore I'm very happy that I picked up all three of them as far as the foundations I I'm going to have to get back to you guys on this one. I think I'm going to, it is 3.43 right now. I have enough time, I have a few hours to do like a check-in. I brought you guys up closer so you guys can see the skin on both sides. So that's the foundation and then this is the foundation serum. Everything looks so good though. I really like this stuff. So here is my skin three hours later. It is now 6.35. So here is what the foundation side looks like. And then this is what the foundation serum looks like. I do think it looks really good. Also, my eyes have not really creased at all. No mascara smudging underneath, even though I haven't used any powder at all. I did end up putting on another layer of blush just to see how it builds, and it builds beautifully. I had no doubts because that blush is perfect. But yeah, here's what my skin looks like about three hours later. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do that so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. I post a lot of these really natural looks and no makeup makeup looks and use a lot of these no makeup makeup brands. So if you're into that sort of thing, definitely go ahead and subscribe. I was going to say join the community, but like, I don't know, that just feels unnatural to me.